Thank you, Crystal. Next, I'd like to introduce Lamar Hesbrook. Dr. Hesbrook is the um, is the uh, director of the Illinois Department of Public Health. He was appointed by Governor Pat Quinn in April of 2012. Since taking the helm, Dr. Hesbrook has helped launch several initiatives, including um, enhanced physical education, fuel up to play 60. He has leveraged his public health expertise to successfully reposition the state's uh, maternal and child health program, champion population health innovation, and reinvigorate key strategic partnerships. In addition to chairing statewide committees that address health workforce, chronic disease prevention, HIV AIDS, and violence pre uh, prevention, he's been one of the architects of healthcare reform in the state of Illinois. With development implementation of a five-year strategy, Dr. Hasbro continues to lead the transformation of IDPH into a mission-driven, high-impact agency. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Hasbro. Well, good morning. Thank you for the kind introduction. I'd like to also recognize our Deputy Governor, Crystal Thomas, great champion for public health and for health, and a great colleague. So it's uh, my opportunity really just to give a lot of thank yous and to kind of put things into, into context from uh, the standpoint of the state health chief uh, here in the state of Illinois. So firstly, let me thank uh, HDC for the willingness to host and also 1871 for providing us with this great venue. Uh, in addition, I want to thank all the partners today at the event, including the amazing, diverse, and reputable list of speakers and panelists, which you'll get to meet uh, just a little bit later. I want to thank all of you as attendees for your time that you've taken on your hectic schedule to listen to today, today's presentations, and hopefully that will get you stimulated in terms of your thought, in terms of contributing to, to this growing uh, issue and concern. Um, I want to especially thank all those who plan to come out tomorrow during our Data Palooza and our hackathon as we continue to look at additional ways to kind of transform uh, the data that we have for, for use and for improvement of health. So let me just share with you just very, very briefly um, from my perspective as the state health uh, director, um, what I see is this event being, being helpful for doing. So I am responsible for the health and wellness of approximately 13 million Illinoisans here. Um, and we do that through our regulatory role, through our health protection role, through our role in terms of health promotion, wellness, and safety. Uh, we do it through the 200 plus programs that we have, the half a billion dollar budget, and 11, 1,100 employees or team members. But most importantly, we do it through partnership. So when I took the helm about 18 months ago, one of the things that we did is we tried to ask ourselves in doing a self-study this critical question. How do we as a department maximize our influence, our impact, and our value in terms of improving the health, wellness, and longevity of people here in Illinois? And we pondered on that. We worked in a number of breakout sessions in terms of trying to basically create our roadmap to answer this question. And that, that exercise resulted in five strategic priorities. So we can't be everything to everyone, but we figured if we focus on these five strategic priorities, we can get there. Two of the five priorities are highlighted in this, this two-day meeting. One of those is partnership, harnessing and growing the power of partnership. It's better dissemination and use of data. So this is squarely aligned with where we hope to go as, as a Department of Public Health. So I want you to know that the department is fully committed to achieving the governor's vision, vision in terms of transparency and opening up the data. Um, in short, we understand that we can't uh, put to use what we don't make available uh, to academics, to to uh, to general public, and to others who are concerned with improving and moving the levels of health. Um, so we understand that by opening up this data and liberating this data through these innovations, we can help to identify waste, fraud, and abuse throughout the system. We can raise awareness of health disparities and the needs of vulnerable populations. We can raise awareness where residents can gain access to healthcare services. Um, and, and for the communities, again, in tandem with the Affordable Care Act. We can enable Illinois residents to better self-manage their health conditions um, and their wellness activities. We can spur on additional innovation in healthcare delivery systems and support entrepreneurial activities and attract investment in terms of a local healthcare sector. 
Um, and most importantly, or in addition, we can also decrease our, our burden, be more streamlined in our operations. My colleague, uh, Dr. Shaw in, in, um, in New York State, um, when they began to liberate their data, they saw a decrease of about 90% in terms of queries, FOIA queries, Freedom of Information queries in terms of data, simply because they had liberated that data. Um, they were able to streamline their operations, focus, focus their attention and their resources on, on other issues. So it's for these reasons that the Illinois Department of Public Health has made a concerted effort to open up as many data sets as we possibly can. We understand that it's going to take partnership and collaboration to create this transfer transformative change in healthcare, which includes all of us here in this room, government officials, private, not-for-profits, CBOs, foundations and trusts, uh, entrepreneurs, etc. Um, and at the end of the day, I want you to know that the Illinois Department of Public Health stands poised to be an active partner in this innovative transformation. Thank you.